We're going to take this penguin now and apply the armature to him. And first I need to come in and in my model here, I actually have a, you can see that I have this mirror modifier on here. That's um, because you can see that I only modeled half of him. So I'm going to apply this so that it's easier to do weight painting. So click apply if you have a mirrored object like that. And then I'm going to make sure that he is selected. Uh, and then I'm going to shift select the armature and hit control P. And I'm going to do it with empty groups so that I have more control over how this thing is, uh, is deformed. Because if you do automatic weights, you're probably going to get a kind of weird, um, weird looking distortions when you start animating this thing. So now you can see that the penguin is underneath the armature here. And we're going to have a large number of, uh, let's see, where is it? I want to make sure that I have the right thing selected. Okay, so that's, yeah, that was why. So here, if you select the penguin, you'll see that you have these vertex groups. And all of these vertex groups are going to control what moves, what vertices move on this penguin. So we're going to switch into weight paint mode. And this is a little bit uh, difficult to see in this mode. I think if we switch into this mode, it might be more visible. Not much. Um, let's see, can we switch anything here that will show? Maybe, there we go. Okay, uh, found that on the fly there. So if we switched, if we were in this mode, this is the, uh, look dev, I guess is what it's called. This mode, solid, is helpful, but it wasn't quite enough because it was still showing the different materials I had on it. If you click on this drop down and you switch to object instead of material, you're going to be able to see this thing uh, a lot easier. So blue in this case, and these bones are kind of annoying. Um, they're kind of in the way. We might have to hide them, but uh, for now, just notice that the blue is how much the selected bone or the selected vertex group affects everything. So just to kind of start off in an easy way, let's select wing L here in vertex groups. Just click on it. And then we want to paint the, the weights onto this thing. And for some reason in my version of Blender 2.8, it doesn't show the weight painting tools. There's like a toolbar that should be here, but I don't know why it doesn't show by default. Hopefully they fix that. But if that happens to you, just right click on one of these guys, maybe view. In the header option here, you can do show tool settings. And then this insanely helpful and necessary toolbar shows up that is hidden otherwise. If you just right click somewhere in the view, this that menu won't show up. But if you right click here, go to header and show tool settings. There it is. So anyway, we have this draw control and we have weight here and a radius. So if we have the wing selected and we start drawing on here, you'll see that this turns red. And that's kind of what we're trying to do here is create this solid thing. Now you want to make sure you don't accidentally hit somewhere else on the body. Um, but that should make it, I don't even think we really need to come in here and do these just because we're not trying to be perfect, but you'd perhaps want to come in here and paint some of these little vertices, but we're going to see what this looks like now. So I'm going to switch out of weight paint mode into object mode, select the armature, switch into pose mode. And then when I rotate this, let's say on the X axis by clicking X or hitting X, now it's locked to it. So you see that that weight painting is what says, hey, for wing L, then I want these vertices to move. Now you can paint half weights for different shapes too. So say around the head, I think is probably a good example of where we'll want some not full on weights. Um, so that the body mod modifies the position a little bit and the head does it a little bit. That helps to make things look a little more natural. 
I'm really not an expert in this, but uh, if you're going for just a basic understanding, this is this is good to know. So I'm going to right click to cancel that. And I'm going to show you a different way to do that. So I'm going to switch back into object mode and we're going to go into the penguin again, click on him. And then we're going to do wing R if we can find it. And if you hit tab and alt A to deselect everything, and then I'm going to also click on this show whole scene transparent for a moment while I uh, click and select these. And now I've got all four of those selected. And I, I want to do the same thing as the other side. I want them all to be a value of one for the weight painting, but this is a different way to do it. So it'll show you the weight uh, or it'll allow you to set the weight here. So if I were to set it if I wanted it to be zero, I could set this value right here to zero, or I can slide it all the way up and set it to one and then hit assign. And so now I'm gonna hit, uh, I'm gonna undo this tab and go into weight painting mode. And you can see that it had the same effect as what happened over here for wing L. So that's just a couple different ways that you can use. Uh, I'm sure in different circumstances, it makes more sense to do one over the other. Um, so let's go ahead and keep doing the rest of these. Uh, there shouldn't be too much left to do here. So we want to probably do, let's do the head first. And I might not get these perfect, but that's okay. So the head, Let's just kind of, you know what, this is going to be, this isn't going to work very well. Let's not do it this way. Let's go back into edit mode and uh, alt A, and we're going to go hit three. And I'm going to switch into this transparent mode again so that it selects the vertices behind. And I'm going to select probably everything here. And then I'm going to deselect. I think I can do shift select. No, alt select maybe if I hold alt. Nope. Control. Hey, got it. Okay. If you hold down the control key and click and drag, you can undo that. Um, so now you can see that this, this lower beak hopefully won't be affected by this. I'm going to apply or I'm going to assign a value of one over here on the right. And then we probably want to do a little bit of movement for these around here. So I'm going to try and select just these points here. And then I'm going to say the head affects it. Let's just go with 50%, 0.5. And we're going to assign that. And then I'm going to assign the rest to the root. So if I keep all of those selected and click root and then assign 0.5, then you can start seeing these things stack up here in vertex weights. And if this menu isn't visible, you can hit the N key. And so you can remove them completely if you realize that you've got weights on there that don't work or if they don't add up to one you might want to change that um, and then let's go back to our beak here we'll come in alt a to deselect everything and then we'll select these and that should be everything in this beak and we're going to click on beak we're going to set it to one and assign it Okay, so I'm gonna switch out of this mode here and we're gonna go back into pose mode for this and test it out. So the head, if I rotate it around the x-axis, I mean, it's not flawless, but that looks pretty good actually. Uh, I'm gonna try it in the z-axis. Okay, that's all right. I'm pretty satisfied with that actually. How does this beak look? Okay, so I'm gonna rotate this around, you know, this this x-axis here. x. Hey, that's something. I mean, obviously he can go way further than he needs to, but that's fun. Okay. 
All right, so we've got something we can work with here. And then finally, we need to do this for the legs. I'm gonna go in here and I'm not gonna mess around with weight painting again. We're just gonna use the vertices. So I'm gonna hit tab to get into the, this. And I don't wanna mess with anything ahead of these. So let's select this and this and this and probably don't want to mess with these right now. In fact, I'm feeling a little concerned about really moving these at all, so let's make it easier on ourselves and skip it. So the, I think we can pretty much attach everything to this foot right here. And we're going to just try and select only these points here. I suppose I can switch. If I hit three, I can switch into face mode. Whoops, I un undid that. But uh, it's a little easier to select all these points. And this should still work. So I'm going to attach this to leg 002. Oh, I never renamed that properly. Let's come back in here and do that. So we're going to have to change this to foot L. And then while we're here, let's make sure we change this vertex group. Oh, it changed it automatically. Well, that was convenient. All right, then we need to do that on the right here as well. We're going to call it foot R. Okay, so that's a little easier. So I'm going to make sure I have foot L selected, and then we're going to assign all of these weights to it. Um, and in fact, let's just, uh, well, let's play with that. Let's see what it looks like first before I try and get creative here. So we're going to switch into object mode, switch, click on this, switch into pose mode, and then let's just see what happens if I rotate this foot. Yeah, that doesn't look quite right. I was afraid of that. So we are, oops, I'm going to control Z. Uh, if I rotate this to, yeah, it starts looking weird. I was hoping that would work better. Okay, so we're going to try and work with this, uh, see if we can get it to look good. So I'll switch into object mode, switch back to this, hit tab, get into here. So I think that this, these guys probably need to be linked up. So if I shift select all of these, oh, getting lost here, uh, and attach them to this right here, that might work better. So let's try that. Uh, select leg 002 underscore L, and we're going to assign Hmm, let's try assigning one and just see how how well it works. Let's see, so if I rotate this on the x-axis, that looks a little bit better. I'm I'm happier with that. And then if I rotate this on the x-axis, well, let's just say that we probably won't be going past that point or that point. That works for me. Okay, let's go back into object mode, select this tab, and let's do the same thing on the other side. So we might be able to alt and click on this point. Yeah, so if you alt and click on a, on a line, an edge like that, it should select the edge loop of faces. And then let's go to this leg on the right and assign a weight of one. And then let's select the rest of these of the foot. And we will assign them to the foot. Okay, I think that's everything here that we wanted to do. Let's just do a last test here. And in pose mode, we'll do, so for all of these, just right click and it'll cancel all of them if you're playing around with it too. So you hit, we'll do right, R, and oh boy. So that was 
This is why you test before you confidently claim victory. So you'll see that um, because all of these uh, other bones that are parented to root have their weights painted, then they're moving properly. But because the rest of them do not have anything um, that, they're, that they're parented to, then it's not rotating when I hit the root. So I'm going to right click. We need to go back in uh, to the penguin. And we need to select everything that was not uh, selected before. So to be honest with you, I'm not sure of a way to select everything that's not selected. Um, I, I've never tried that. Oh, that's interesting. And then if I do that, ooh, let's try this. Okay. I love when I just try things and then they work and I'm on camera. That doesn't happen very often. Okay, so I've selected these both by basically just clicking on things. So I'm going to click this and click select. We're going to go through all of these. So I, I did foot, I did leg. Let's do this one. Oh, there's nothing attached to it. That's fine. Beak, select. Let's just make sure that's getting there. Uh, head, select. Wing, select. Foot, select. What else? Let's see. Select, select. Okay, so everything but root is selected. Now that we have everything, we're going to go up here, go to select, invert. Boom. That's pretty cool. Um, I think we want to make sure that these wings, though, are not selected. So I'm going to shift and click on these guys. Um, I wonder if I had done it in vertex mode, if it would have worked better. But uh, here we are. OK, so this looks good. Now let's just assign the root to all of these and hit tab. And just for kicks, let's let's just look at the weight painting now. You can see that it's colored this in for root, and then our these ones don't have anything painted, but this one, um, the wing. See, that's what's cool about weight paint mode is you can kind of see some issues. Uh, and if you were doing something that was a little bit less, I don't know, simple than this, you might have to go in and do weight painting. But um, I'm going to switch back into object mode, pose mode. Let's try that again. Hey, there we go. That's looking right. Okay. Let's do this. Testing this one. That looks right. Yep. Let's try the legs. Good. Whoops. <laughs> and let's do this one too. Just to, I mean, you can't. Can't be too careful with this stuff, because if you forgot one little thing, it's going to affect you later. OK, so this looks pretty good. I'm pretty satisfied with this. And um, now it should be easy enough to use uh, if we want to add some animations to it, or even import it straight into Unity and then uh, control some animations from with code. So for example, if we wanted to take the wings and just write a script that would kind of automatically wiggle them up and down or wiggle the beak side to side, maybe if it was eating and we wanted the beak to kind of like chomp a little bit, but we didn't want to do that animation in Blender for whatever reason, um, then we can just modify this, put it on a, a joint or even just rotate it a little bit, um, and then we could get some of these animations going.